Hi everyone, my name is Alexis. I'm a dietetic intern from UConn. The warm summer months are coming up and everyone loves to get outside and fire up their grills. So today we're going to be talking about some food safety tips when you're grilling up those yummy foods. Tip number one, wash your hands before, during, and after food preparation. Bacteria can easily be transferred from your hands to other foods and surfaces. So always wash your hands thoroughly with warm soapy water for at least 20 seconds. Tip number two, separate the plates. Wash plates in between uses or use separate plates, one for cooked foods and one for raw foods. The juices from raw meat carry harmful bacteria that can spill over or leak onto other foods and surfaces, so using separate plates can prevent this from happening. Tip number three, clean your grilling utensils. Do so on hot soapy water, and if it's too much of a hassle to do dishes while you're cooking, then use two sets of utensils, one for the raw foods and one for the cooked. Tip number four, safely marinate your foods. Marinate your foods in a food safe, non-metal container and make sure it's fully covered. Place this on the bottom shelf of your refrigerator. By placing your marinade in the fridge, this will keep your foods out of the temperature danger zone and ensure that they're safe to eat. Keep in mind that when you're using a marinade on a raw meat, poultry, or seafood, and then placing it on a cooked food, this may be a little bit risky. One thing you can do is boil any leftover marinade that you plan on using the, on the cooked foods to kill any harmful bacteria. Or even better, you can plan ahead and make a little bit of extra marinade, place it on the side, and then use this for the cooked foods in the end. Also, while you're at the grill, never use the same brush to place the marinade on cooked meats and raw meats. Use two separate brushes or wash with hot soapy water in between uses. Tip number five, ditch the dish towel. Leave your dish towel in the kitchen. Whenever you're using the same dish towel multiple times to wipe your hands, clean up spills next to the grill, this can spread bacteria. So instead, use a disposable paper towel or wipes and discard immediately. Tip number six, trust in the thermometer. Don't solely rely on your sight or your touch to check the doneness of your food. Instead, use a food thermometer to make sure that meat, poultry, and seafood is safe to eat. So to give you some examples of common foods that everyone loves to throw on the grill in the summer, steak should be cooked to 145 degrees, ground beef should be cooked to 160 degrees, chicken and turkey should be cooked to 165 degrees, and fish should be cooked to 145. Also remember, when you're checking the temperature, check in the thickest portion of the food and also the middle portion to ensure that it's safe to eat. Tip number seven, let's talk about leftovers. Saving leftovers from grilled foods can affect their taste, their quality, but most importantly, their safety. Leftovers of grilled foods when stored in the refrigerator can last up to three to four days. Refrigerate leftovers in shallow containers and it's helpful to keep track if you write the date down on the container too. When you're eating leftovers, make sure to reheat your foods and use a food thermometer to check that it's 165 degrees. And for our last tip, tip number eight, Clean your grill. Many grills are different, so clean your grill according to the instructions that came with it. This can help get rid of any bacteria that might be lingering around between uses. So I hope what I shared with you today gave you what you needed to be successful in practicing food safety while grilling in the upcoming summer months. Thank you so much for tuning in today.